Well, how are you guys doing today? You may realize that, yes, I'm doing a voiceover on this video because it was just simply too cold and snowy for me to talk during the recording of this. Out at the historic Fort Defiance site, checking out this uh, historical placard, as you can see, the snow is really coming down out there. Really unbelievable. We've had so much snow in the past few days. Um, hard to even imagine we're getting more. And at this point, I'm trudging through snow that's probably up to my knees, if not deeper. And there was a few instances where I actually fell down because I just couldn't see the terrain. And there's a lot of hills and kind of uh, sloping areas here, as well as monuments that I was stepping on. Just absolutely crazy. That's looking out to the northeast over the Maumee River, completely covered in the snow and ice. A very gray winter afternoon. Anybody who is out there probably is wondering what in the heck I'm doing with a camera in that kind of weather. And yeah, it got pretty wet. It was insane. It's a historical marker right there. You got two um, cannons placed at this location. Pretty interesting to see. And in the, the warmer months, uh, they definitely stand out against the grass. You can pause the video right here if you want to read that. Of course, I didn't want to stick around too long and spend time reading it in that kind of weather. I just wanted to get out. Who can blame me? My lord. It was after I filmed this right here, I fell down. <laughs> Good thing that wasn't still recording. Now here's a quiet stone. You can see it's uh, about 34 degrees when I'm recording this. So heavy snow. Probably about 33, 34. And uh, a little bit of melting on the roads. But uh, definitely not preventing the snow from coming down. Original 13 colonies on the flag there. I mean, the snow is really amazing just uh, in terms of the beauty of the you know, winter season, but really, it's not my favorite season in the world, and I can't wait for it to be spring. Let me just say that. Walking over here in the, see Clinton Street. Actually, no, this isn't Clinton. This is Maple, I believe. I don't even know. Clinton's the main drag through Defiance, Ohio. And here, as you can see, uh, another monument marking the uh, Fort Defiance site. Again, I was so distracted with the uh, snow coming down and the deep snow underfoot uh, to even... Spend that much time looking at the markers. It is a beautiful sight. For some reason, I'm watching this back and talking over, and I wanted to sing Foreigner, Cold as Ice. <laughs> yeah, you can see the roads are just crazy. I mean, with uh, two or three fresh inches of snow coming down, uh, they just get rough quick. I'm not sure if you can read this. Maybe you can. You can just Google Fort Defiance, and Wikipedia will probably have some information for you. Of course, uh, Mad Anthony Wayne had a lot of history here. I 
I'll give it over to my real life self now and uh, stop the voiceover so you can hear what I have to say in the flesh. Thanks, guys! Yeah, the snow one today. Snow one, Ben none. God bless it. Very, very snowy out here. Oh, man. Yeah. At least the new battery's holding up, my lord. That is absurd. Thought I'd show you around uh, Historic Fort Defiance a little bit. Actually, it was out here about two years ago. Huh? Three years ago. Wow. And, uh, it's got a nice spring day. And, uh, not so much today. Oh man, if I could do a video of the camera, see how snowy it is. But, uh, yeah. So be it. I'm out of here. Later. It says Fort Defiance was erected upon the site by General Anthony Wayne August 9th through 17th, 1794, and thus the Grand Emporium of the Hostile Indians of the West was gained without loss of blood. From this point, General Wayne advanced against the Indians and signally defeated them in the Battle of Fallen Timbers, August 20th, 1794. At this strategic center in October 1792, convened the largest Indian council ever held on the American continent. Fort Defiance was an important military post in the War of 1812. Wow, it's crazy.